Derek, young man. Eileen! Yes, George. Thank you, my love. You know the rules of this club. You know you can come here any time except when you should be in school. And not from the cellar. And not with this. I told you it ain't mine. I just got a message for Eileen from my mum. Sniffing glue destroys the brain. It makes you stupid. You've been sniffing glue. I'm not a fool. Oh, no. What's up now, Derek? Someone's got a message for Eileen. It can wait. Derek! What? Can it? I could kill you. When are you gonna grow up? You stupid. Get in. Sugar? I don't care. Don't start with me. Well, didn't have to do that. Do what? Show me up like that, in front of them. Sorry, Derek. Well, you showed yourself up. You showed me up and I'm sick of it. Stick in your head in a plastic bag. I told you I'd tell Mum next time. If you ever see her again. I wish she anyway. What? Right. Oh, I don't know. She's always sick. Sometimes she stays in bed all day. Then Dad comes home and they're up all night. Arguing. So he looks after little Jamie. You, eh? Like I did. She misses you, Mum. So does Jamie. No, you've always been the one for Jamie. That's your problem. But I always stayed around for you. Derek! Well, what's this message, then? Lend us a quid. What for? It ran out of Mum's purse this morning. Stay with us, you know. We've got a routine, what's it? No. Lend us 50p, Derry. I can't. Owe it him. He won't, and he won't be back while well, Thursday. I'll do the same for you. Come on, mate. Oh, you know what it is. Before it goes, come on. Oi, oi, give us some of that then. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, girl, mate. Yeah. Come on, girl, mate. Why weren't you in school today? I was, miss. I was late. You weren't in English this afternoon. You are on report, remember? My mum was ill. Right, ten to nine tomorrow with a letter. Preferably written by someone who can spell your mother's name. Look, if you're not there, it's another visit from the Educational Welfare Office, and you know what that means this time. Night, Gary. Miss. You? No. I'm going to tell your dad when he comes in, he's going to give you a right belt and you'll sit down and keep out of my way. Derek! Hello, 
hello, mate. How's school then? I didn't go. I'm near eight. Oh, mm. thank God. Where have you been? Oh, I kept us late at school. In practice, I oh. Could have done with you here. You've been driving me around the twist with his earache. Don't give him sweets before tea. I don't want tea. Shut up. Every time I turn my back, he's into something. He's mixed a sugar with the soap powder. Give him a wipe. He nearly killed himself on the iron. Oh, it's the last time I'm taking your sheets to the wash. Well, I didn't wet them. Well, don't let him in your bed then. You're seven years old. It's you and Dad moaning all the time anyway. Don't be so bloody cheeky. Anyway, your Dad's gone for a job. What's the job? Down the foundry. Called him in special. Oh, Mum! That's great! <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Is that why you're all doled up, then? Why? Do I look a mess? No, you look fine. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here. Thank you. Do you know that? Your dad's getting a job. A job with money. And good money, too. Oh, love. We could just pay some of those bills, it'd be a miracle. No more getting up each morning like you're going to face your executioner. No more him stuck all day in front of the telly like a bear with a sore head. No more fighting over money. We might even have a holiday. Yeah! We could go to Scotland to Uncle Charlie's wedding. Why not? Do you hear that? We're going to Scotland. Listen, dear sis. We shall be delighted to attend our Charlie's wedding. Please do not bother putting us up on your floor. We should be arriving by hard car and staying at the Royal Hotel. Oh, my God. Potatoes. Oh, Mum. Do you know, Dad, it's weird. It's only when you see the light you realise how dark it's been. I don't think I could have stood much more. I think one night I'd have just taken those pills and finished it. Mum! Oh, I'm sorry, love. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, um, why don't you go and do a sum of your art with that table, eh? I want everything perfect. Use some of the paper serviettes from Christmas. Yeah. What's for tea, anyway? Uh, well, it's a sort of... Casseroli Italiana. Oh, a casseroli. Yeah, you know, sort of stew with one of them packets in. Highly recommended by the butcher. Do you know it gave me tick for the first time today? That's what a job is. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, it's magic. Come here. Oh, you are a crazy coot. We did have some good times, didn't we, as a family? When was that then, Mum? Hey, they'll come again. We'll make them come again. Yeah. Saw Eileen today. Oh, yeah? Still with that black fella? Yeah. Well, he seems all right. Does he? Well, she's made her bed. What's with all the lights? Huh? Are we paying off electricity? Harry, upstairs, switch them off. And put a coat on if you're cold. Derek, upstairs. Wait. What about the job? What job? You didn't get it? Yeah, one. But they wrote you the letter, they asked yeah, you. Yeah, to... yeah, along with 20 others. <laughs> if the phone hadn't been cut off because I couldn't pay the bill, they'll have telephoned me to tell me they were interviewing a day early like yesterday.
situation was difficult to know. Are you going to eat your tea? Are you going to eat your tea? It's on the table. Are you going to eat? No, I'm not hungry. Why? Because you've been in the pub all afternoon soaking up the booze. I had a few drinks. Yeah. I bet you did. We can't afford to eat. We can't afford to keep warm, but you can afford to drink. Just don't start you. Start what? The truth. We can't afford anything, can we? We can't afford to live like decent human beings, so why don't we all go and put our heads in the bloody oven? Shut up and get off my back. Crazy woman! Look what you're doing! I don't care. I've had enough. I've had enough. Oh, yeah, go on. Go on. Go on. Come on. It's not that I don't love you. I mean, how could I... It drives me mental being cooped up here with you and the kids. We're like rats in a trap at each other's throats. <laughs> I could have killed somebody tonight, you know? Something just snapped in my brain. Derek, you, Jamie. Do you not understand? I don't want you and the kids to end up hating me. That's the way it's going. Don't leave us. Oh, come on. Please. Bill. Please. I, I need you. Bill. Please. Come on. I can't live without you. Bill. I love you. No. Oh, no! 
Jamie. You've done it again. Oh, my God. I told you not to let him in your bed again. Look at the bloody state of you. God, you stink and all. Oh, leave the lad alone. Why? Are you going to wash the bloody table, Derek? What's the matter with you? Oh, I see, I see. It's all right for you to have a go at him, but not me. Don't start. What do you mean, start? Every morning, the same thing. Yeah, well, why do you think that is, eh? Look at them on the floor. Look at them. Well, so what? They're on the floor. Well, who's going to pick them up? They're aren't they? Yeah, see now. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Yes. Good luck. Good luck. Derek, take your head off the desk. You haven't written a word. Yes, she has, miss. Tuesday. He's even got the day wrong. <laughs> Get on with it, Derek. He's asleep, miss. Wakey, wakey. Uh, he's peed in his pants. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Sit down, Stan. I'll deal with him later. Point you being here. It's just a waste of everyone's time, isn't it? How'd you get that bruise on your head? Fighting? How's your mother, Derek? Is she better? That's why you've been off, remember? Derek, if you're not going to talk to me, we're not going to get very far, are we? Okay. <clears throat> What's your next lesson? It's games, Derek. Got your kit? Oh. Well, I'm sure Mr. Thompson will find you something. Might even let you have a shower. Go on.
Jamie! Mum? He didn't find them, did he? But he did. Under your mattress. Asked me if he could blow up one of your balloons. Then he showed me. He showed you? Then he didn't try to... No thanks to you. Oh. And we've had another visitation from the Educational Welfare Officer. The bunk lady. Anything you'd like to say about that? I think we've had enough talk. Just let him explain. Upstairs. No, Dad. Upstairs. Dad! Get up or I'll reach you No, just please! your sister. Leave me alone. Mum? Ed. Mum! Mum! Cheers. Hey, grub's up. Great, Derek. I'm starving. I like the lumpy bits. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> well, looks better already, doesn't it? Yeah. I hope Mum likes it, though. Of course she will. She thinks if she stays with Uncle Charlie long enough, we can do the whole house. Hang on. She hasn't even agreed to go yet. She will. Doctor said she needed a good couple of weeks to recuperate. Yeah, but I hardly think she'll recuperate your Uncle Charlie's wedding. She will. She'll have some fun. It's what she needs. She might meet a nice new bloke. Someone with a job, a bit of money, someone who treat her right. She can't. She's married to Dad. Well, he's gone off, hasn't he? So, they're still married. So? Well, she better not do. <laughs> Don't be so selfish. Jermaine. Well, she's got the right to be happy, hasn't she? 
Imagine, what a life, stuck here looking after you, horrible too, isn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, good. Hi. Dad! Hey, hiya, son. How you going, eh? <laughs> Have you come back, Dad? Yeah, son, yeah, Dad's come back home, yeah. And we don't all cheer at once. Hey, there you go. Yeah. It's, uh, Tony, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Eileen's mother's told me all about you, yeah. How'd you do? Thanks for your help. When did you see Mum? You know she's in hospital. She's ill, so she's going to Uncle Charlie's wedding in Scotland. Yeah, that's right, yeah. She said she was thinking about it, didn't she? Hey, I tell you what, then. Why don't we all go, eh? As a family. Yeah, 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 no. Hey, look, I'm all right, you know. Don't worry, I'm not staying. I just popped round to tell you I've been to see Mum in hospital. And we've decided we've all been a bit bloody stupid in the past. Hey, Derek. Yes, Dad. Yeah. So, we're going to pull up our socks and see if we can't do any better. Okay? Derek? Yes, Dad. Great. Well, that's great. Well, better go. Got to see a man about a job in ten minutes. A job? You, uh, gonna see Mum in hospital tonight? Yeah. Good. Good, she'll tell you all about it then. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Derek, yeah. There you go. Watch it. Ink's still wet. <laughs> He's lying. He hadn't really been to see her. I tell you, he's lying. Anyway, she wouldn't go back to him now, would she? She wouldn't. She can't. Can't she? Shut 